How to clean your trumpet. As a trumpet player, it's important to learn how to take care of your trumpet. In this video, you'll learn how to properly clean and care for your instrument step by step. Once a month, you'll need to give your trumpet a bath. Remember, you blow warm, moist air into your trumpet every day. What grows in warm, moist, dark environments? A lot of gross stuff. So take care of your trumpet and give it a bath once a month. Before you get started, gather all the materials you'll need. You'll need a bathtub or large sink, two old towels, don't use mom's good towels, liquid dish soap, and your trumpet cleaning kit. To get started, line the bottom of the tub with one of your towels to help protect your trumpet from dents. Run room temperature water in the bath. Make sure the water isn't hot or cold, or you may ruin your trumpet. You'll want just enough water to cover your trumpet. Add a few drops of a good grease cutting dish soap like Dawn. Now you're ready to disassemble your trumpet. It's important that you are gentle with your trumpet throughout this process. Never try to force a stuck slide by using anything other than your hands. Brass is a very soft metal and is easily damaged. If you can't remove a slide, simply leave it in place and continue the process. You can bring your trumpet in and our repair technicians can pull the slide safely for you. The first step in taking your trumpet apart is to remove the valves. Unscrew the valve caps one at a time and pull the valve straight up. Gently set the valves on the towel in the tub. On the bottom of your trumpet, unscrew the valve caps and gently place them on the towel in the tub. Now, pull out your tuning slide. Remember, the metal is actually very soft. Pull the slide straight out to avoid bending the metal. Place the tuning slide on the towel in the tub. Do the same for the first valve slide, second valve slide, and third valve slide. Most trumpets will have a third valve slide stopper. Be sure to remove it before you try to pull out your third valve slide. If you aren't sure how to do this, you can always ask any of the staff at REW Music or your band teacher. Now that all your valves and slides are in the bath, go ahead and carefully place your trumpet in the bath. The water should cover your whole trumpet. Make sure the trumpet is laying with the second valve slide ports facing up. While your trumpet is soaking in the bath, go ahead and grab your mouthpiece and mouthpiece brush. Your mouthpiece should be cleaned once a week as it gets gross much faster than the rest of your trumpet. If it's been a while since you cleaned your mouthpiece, you may no notice some buildup on the inside. That's a very small hole and you don't want any buildup making it smaller, so make sure to clean your mouthpiece once a week. Run warm to hot water in your sink. Unlike the rest of your trumpet, hot water won't hurt your mouthpiece and will help kill any germs. Be careful not to get the water too hot or you may burn your hands. Have an adult help you if you aren't sure. Run the water over the inside and outside of your mouthpiece. Use the mouthpiece brush to scrub the inside of your mouthpiece and remove any debris. Dry the outside of your mouthpiece with your second towel and put it away. Back at the bathtub, your trumpet is ready for a good scrub down. Grab the snake brush out of your trumpet care kit. It's a very long wire with a small brush at each end. Push one end of the snake into your tuning slide and feed it through until it comes out the other side. Pull the snake back out and put the slide back in the tub. The second and third valve slide have too sharp of a turn to pull all the way through. So push one end of the snake in as far as it will go, then pull it back out and do the same for the other side of the slide. Brush out each of the slides and put them back in the water. Next, use the snake brush to clean out each of the small holes in your valves. You don't have to pull the snake all the way through each hole, just use one end to go in and out of each hole on each valve. Now you need to use the snake brush to clean out every part of your trumpet. Don't forget the lead pipe and each of the slide ports. If the brush fits in the hole, clean it out. At this point, you may notice your water is a little dirty if you haven't cleaned your trumpet in a while. Don't worry, that's a sign that your trumpet really needed a bath. If you clean your trumpet once a month, it won't be quite so gross. Find the long, thick brush in your trumpet care kit. This is your valve casing brush. 
Use the brush to brush out the valve casings from the top and the bottom. Your trumpet is all clean and ready to be put back together. Go ahead and drain the water from the tub and use your second towel to carefully dry off the outside of all the pieces. Make sure all the water is out of the inside of the slides and valves by turning the pieces a few different directions. Use the slide grease in your care kit to lightly grease each of your four slides. You only need a little bit of grease and you only need to put it on the parts of the slide that end up inside the trumpet. These are the parts that aren't shiny. Slide your third valve slide back into place. Be gentle, remember not to try to force it. Make sure everything is lined up and it should easily slide in place. Remember, the water key should point down. Once the, third once the slide is in place, you can reattach the third valve slide lock. Next, replace your second valve slide. If the slide has a button on one side, the button should face away from the trumpet. The second valve slide is the easiest to bend, so make sure everything is lined up before you push, and don't try to force it. Now replace the first valve slide. The saddle should point up. Finally, replace your tuning slide. Make sure the water key is pointing down. If one side of the slide is longer than the other, get that side started and slide it in until the second side meets. Line up the second side and gently push in. If you used too much slide grease, you may notice the excess grease has squeegeed off and sits where the slide meets the trumpet. Use an old cloth to wipe off the excess. Turn your trumpet upside down and gently screw the valve caps back in place. It may take a few tries to get them started, but be patient. The brass of your trumpet is softer than the metal caps and it is easy to get them cross-threaded. Make sure the cap is sitting level and is turning easily. If you have trouble, you may need to ask an adult to help. On your valves, you'll find a number one, two, or three. On the valve marked one, draw a small bead of valve oil down the dull part of the valve. Place the valve in the valve casing that sits closest to the mouthpiece. Turn the top of the valve until you hear the valve click into place. Screw the valve cap on and press the valve a few times to distribute the oil. Do the same with valves two and three putting valve 2 in the middle and valve 3 in the spot closest to the bell of the trumpet. If you have the Amata type water keys, put a drop of valve oil in each water key. Test to make sure all the valves are in the right place. Blow in the lead pipe of the trumpet and push each valve. If you can blow freely, good job, your valves are in proper position. If you can't blow through the trumpet, you have a valve turned wrong or two valves mixed up. Double check to make sure each valve is in the correct slot and securely clicked into place. That's it, your trumpet is clean and ready to play. Remember, your trumpet needs a bath once a month and your mouthpiece needs to be cleaned once a week. If you ever have any questions about how to clean your trumpet, feel free to ask any staff member at REW Music.